This is Mission 11 Experiment 8. We have Lone Star. Uh, it's, it has an oscilloscope attached to it. Again, at the uh, 5 volt, it's connected to the 5 volt rail that connects to the uh, uh, compass. And uh, the point is so that we can observe the quality of the uh, voltage supply that is being given to the compass in order to hopefully understand why the compass um, fails to operate. And um, interestingly enough, even before I started the experiment, the voltage, the uh, trigger on the oscilloscope has already been triggered. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and capture this uh, noise here. You can see that the uh, noise is, is quite large. The interval of time, the unit interval of time on the x-axis is currently set to 100 nanoseconds. And uh, so you can see that this lasts about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at least 600 nanoseconds. And the peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage, uh, the y-axis here you can see is uh, 1 volt per division. And so you can count how many divisions there are. There are about at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, five plus divisions here, so it's like plus or minus five volts, uh, which is tremendous considering that this is a five volt power supply uh, that's being given to the compass. So, okay, so now that uh, I've captured that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start another trigger. I'm gonna set the voltage trigger to be negative two volts, and uh, I'm now going to start the experiment. So, now going over to the laptop. I'm going to start the client. This is the Ferris client. It sends the motion script, motion script sent. And now the, the command to start has been given. Okay, now the robot is not moving. And uh, let's see if we can figure out why. It says here it's unable to get the current heading. Let me go to the next screen here. You can see that the uh, compass uh, I squared C has, uh, has failed. You can see right here that it's uh, failed to use the uh, I squared C. So I'm going to go back and see if I can get that to work. But uh, interestingly enough, oh, never mind. That's still on the old one. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to try doing is reset this uh, um, microcontroller. And the microcontroller has been reset. The microcontroller actually appears to be off right now. <coughs> actually, if you look at this uh, noise here, this is um, another huge amount of noise on the 5 volt power rail. We'll go ahead and save that. Let me see if I can figure out why this. Uh, microcontroller is not uh, turning on. I'll set this uh, camera down while I look at this. Oh, okay, it is on. Okay, it was just accidentally bumped. So perhaps one thing I can do is, uh, <clears throat> what I have here is the oscilloscope is set to trigger at uh, any uh, two volt uh, two volt uh, divergence from the five volt rail. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, since the compass is not working, you can see there's a red LED blinking on the microcontroller. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the laptop and I'm just gonna use player joy to move it forward and backward and see if I can capture some noise on the five volt rail. So first I'm gonna start the uh, server. All right, server started. And I'm gonna start player joy. Okay, the player joy has been started. I wanna make it move forward. Okay, see, see it moving forward right now? 
All right, looks like it's having trouble climbing over the cable that's in front of it. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it caught any voltage spikes. It looks like it did, but it's uh, it's kind of strange. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the video. This is uh, mission 11, experiment number eight.